so my intro not as enthusiastic um because i don't know if said and dd is a thing anymore um i don't want to get emotional i don't want to be sad on here um but yeah breakups are hard as fuck um especially when it's supposed to be a break you know um as y'all may know the reason she broke up with me was because of my past blase blase whatever um i feel as if i have every right to or i had every right to take what she said and run with it because if you're saying it two years into the relationship then that's how you been feeling about the situation right so that's why i took what she said and ran with it she tends to feel like i want to be single and i want to be with someone else and i want to date someone else and i just want to have hoes and i just want to talk to everybody and that's not the case i've been in a public relationship public for two years with you why would I want to go from that for two years to starting over with somebody else? Obviously, yes, I talk to people, okay? That's common sense. I'm single. I get bored. I talk to people. It's not even that I be bored. I talk to people. So does she. Now, everything to me or everything in my opinion feels as if she feels like things should be moving at her pace like she'll tell me like oh you broke up with me but i didn't break up with her she broke up with me but i i completely understand how why she feels the way that she feels and why she feels like it's time for her to isolate herself from me for good for forever for a small amount of time i don't know um how she's starting to feel right now is how i was feeling but i didn't know what the feeling was when i was with her i always felt as if something was wrong or something was off not always probably like in the last four months four or five months probably yeah the last four or five months i always felt like Something was off with me. Not with her. She was a great girlfriend. But something always felt off with me. And I always felt like it's something going on with me. And I don't know what it is. I don't know why I'm treating you so bad. I don't know why I'm talking to you like this. I don't I don't know. I don't know why. So when we broke up, I was so devastated. So devastated and so hurt to the point where... I had to sit back and say, why am I allowing another human being to make sure I'm happy? If I'm not with her, I'm unhappy. If I'm not around Sydney, I'm bored. If I'm not around her, I'm not entertained. If I'm not around her, I just feel like a little turtle that's here, you know? I don't know why I said turtle, but I do. I just feel like a turtle in a fish tank by itself, literally. And it's like, I don't feel like that's healthy. Like, it's nothing wrong with being your partner's best friend. But you should have a life outside of your relationship. We didn't have that. There was no difference between the two. It was our relationship, our friendship, everything. Our friends, who we go out with, that was just us two. That was our relationship. And I don't feel like that's healthy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And I know I'm probably all over the place in this video. But I just want y'all to understand that it's deeper than the pictures. It's deeper than the YouTube videos. It's deeper than everything. And, and it bothers me when people say, y'all should get back together. Y'all need to get back together. I want to get back with Sydney. I do. Most definitely. And I, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I love that girl to death. I'm in love with her. She has my heart in her pocket and I have hers in my pocket. But one thing I won't tolerate is me not knowing who I am. I don't know who 
Deidre is anymore. I know exactly who Didi is. I've 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 molded myself into this person that everybody else sees, but nobody knows who Deidre is, and that hurts bad. Like I'm finna cry talking about it because it's like I'm sick of hearing uh, this 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 little girl in this picture. This this was my baby, or she was a sweetheart. What am I now? And yes, that's what other people have to say about me, but. When you've been feeling off and then people start to say things of that nature, it kind of adds up like I'm losing myself. I'm, I'm losing myself in this relationship. So I don't feel as if I'm wrong for staying single. I don't feel as if I'm wrong for standing 10 toes in this single life, not for oh because I want to talk to people and oh because I want to entertain people and Oh, I just want to live my best life without Sydney. Like, no, that's not the case. I need to get my shit together. I need to get me together. I need to be the best I can be for my partner, whoever that may be. You get what I'm saying? And I feel as I feel as if that should be respected more than rejected. And right now it's being rejected. You get what I'm saying? So I just wanted to come on here and pre-warn y'all that I don't know where Sydney Ted is right now, but Sydney's completely done with me as of right now. Um, she's done, 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 like big done. It's nothing else to really discuss with her, I guess. Um, and I'm not making this to bash her. I'm not making this to do none of that because I still love her and I will still pull up on her I don't care I don't care and I know she gonna watch this and I don't care but I do feel as if we're very toxic for each other right now and we need to come to a median or a middle ground to figure out what the fuck are we finna do and right now it's not what are we finna do is I don't want to talk to you. 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 Like, before this video, we got into a little dispute. And she basically just told me, like, before me, she was okay as a person, as an individual. And for somebody to tell you that, it's not a bad feeling. It's, 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 a, it's a good and it's a bad. It's like a bittersweet. Because before me, you were okay with being done with somebody not talking to somebody no more but it's like now that i'm here it's so hard to let me go it's so hard to focus on yourself because you just want me in the picture you know and it's like i under i understand that because i feel the same way i feel the exact same way that she does i was okay before i met sydney i have no problem cutting motherfuckers off i ain't had no issue uh not talking to people. I ain't had no issue uh, blocking up. I didn't give a fuck about that shit. Bye. We break up. Bye. But it's like with her, it's like, it's not even I invested two years of my life. Fuck all that shit. It's the simple fact that I found my lover and my best friend, y'all. And nobody understands how that feels to not be with that person every day. And to feel like they gonna forget about you. That's a fucked up feeling. And that's how I'm feeling right now because I feel as if I'm wrong. I know I'm not, but I feel like I'm wrong because I feel like I'm going about this the wrong way. But I can't work on myself if I'm attached to another person. And that's all I want to get across to her, I can't work and focus on myself if I'm attached to you because I'm always want to make sure Sydney's okay. I'm always want to make sure Sydney has, did Sydney eat today? Did Sydney, that's my baby. Like, y'all don't understand. That's literally my baby. And I literally treat her as such. So, it's like, I don't know. This is one of them situations where you got to let go. And see what happens so that's what i'm gonna do i will see y'all in the next